GM. Hello, and we're going to play some Blitz. Um, uh, now, I do have a friend joining me in the Blitz seat in the aquarium because he, he is fond of a little bit of fish now and again. And you can see, will he be able to cope? There we go. He's got his own chair, office chair. He's turning around because he's like, Simon, just shut up. Just shut up. So you can see Charlie is there. Hello, Charlie. And I know Charlie's really the, the star of the show, but my webcam doesn't quite go all the way down there. But anyway, let's play some Blitz. So um, I'm just going to play some three minute Blitz. I'm off to Reykjavik in uh, about, well, I don't know, 12 hours, 24 hours. So you can catch me uh, commentating with Fiona over there over the next week and a half. So I won't be able to do many YouTube videos while I am in Reykjavik, but I will be on uh, chess.com TV every day. Um, so you can, as I've said, catch me uh, doing the commentary with Fiona on the competition there. Right, anyway, on to some Blitz. So is it gonna be a good day today or a bad day? It's, mm, I can never tell. So my opponents played like a Cambridge Springs type of opening, yet the difference is he's gone h6, bishop h4, which helps me. Um, so for now, I'm just gonna go for castling. And then, oh, after that move, I'm very tempted. Well, let's give him a check. Um, make sure he can't castle that look I mean I know I know I love that move normally but in this situation it looks very dubious because I'm gonna play e4 at the right moment opening him up surely um, maybe it's not that bad we'll see okay so that's my long-term plan to try and play e4 uh, and open up the position but my other plan is he's got a lovely square there for my knight so my knight is going to come straight into that square when he'll probably have to go knight d7 to swap it off. Um, and this is where I'm going to try to play my plan of getting e4 in to open up the position. Problem in the Stonewall Dutch, which is what my opponent has here, is the bishop on c8 is, is a very, very bad piece. So I don't really want to swap knights, even though that, that's not such a bad idea. I mean, well, if I, if I don't swap knights... He's going to take on g3, uh, which is a bit annoying. f4 I could play, um, going for a small edge, but it means that my plan of e4 is not going to be as possible. So I'm going to have to try to go for a g4 break. But I think really what I'm aiming to do in this position is play against his bishop. Um, and g4 is the move which is going to give me some attacking chances as well. Okay, so it looks a little bit better for me, this position, only a little bit. And I'm now going to play on both areas of the board. Are you impressed, Charlie? Are you impressed? Nah, he's, he's not impressed. He's not impressed with this play so far. He's saying it's, it's a bit too positional, Simon. I'm going to sleep. Wait, wake me up when the party starts. Wake me up when the tactics happen. That's what he's thinking. Um, okay, anyway, so it's only a little bit better for me. Oh, dear, he can take on C4. I don't even... For some reason, I just... Well, I think he should have taken on c4, mainly to give himself the d5 square for for his bishop, uh, more than winning a pawn. That would have been a, a much better plan. And now, well, I can even try to sneak around and pick off this pawn at the right moment, either doubling on the f file or queen to c2. Uh, this move h6, I really think that was a very bad move of my opponents. You can see he's weakened so many of his light squares. Uh, okay, well let's put the pressure on that pawn immediately. I don't necessarily have to take it immediately, but it will be an option. Even g4, because if he takes bishop h7 check, is a very strong plan. And I win the rook on f8. And my opponent's position is probably crumbling here, even though saying that he's just found this good move. Now let's go here to stop my g4 pawn dropping um, and I'm still quite confident at the moment will he sack an exchange well if he does that should be winning for me um, and you can see just how bishop bad his bishop has become here 
Um, and I'm going to whip off the F4 pawn. You're not, you're not impressed yet, Charlie? Hey? You know, no, 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 he's not impressed. Not impressed at all. So I'm going to I'm gonna get over 2,500 this session. Garen bloody teed. Place your bets now. Uh, famous last words, I hear you say. Um, well, that's, that's what I'm going to try to do anyway. Now, I didn't take with a pawn because I didn't want his queen coming into this square, which I've now just allowed. But I'm hoping I have queen g2 because obviously my pawn there is very nice. Um, but I'm certainly playing a bit of a risky game here, aren't I? I mean, what the bloody hell am I doing here? Um, if I move my king, he takes there. If I move there, okay, this should be all right because I've got rook f2 check. Should be okay. I just need to get my king to a safer square and go queen f2 at the right moment. I suppose he's got queen e4 there, but this this is looking good. And queen f4, that's it. That's that's what I wanted. As soon as I got those moves in, his position is crumbling. Now, can I force things? Maybe f6 was good, but I'm not even going to do that. There's no need to rush this position. Let's just uh, torture him a little bit further. Okay, f6. I've had enough of that. Time to blast it through. And go for the queen. Some mate with queen f8 is going to be coming, isn't it? He can't stop this move. This is a killer. A killer queen. La la la. Right, so let's go again. So who is my opponent? Coleman. Uh, Fide Master from Spain and I will stick to the Dutch now if I get a chance to put my bishop on b7 I don't want to allow e4 here so I'm throwing my knight in there he's very quick this guy um, I have to say and I've got to watch out for a little cheeky check over on this square I could go g6 um, but I'm just gonna play here because now if he checks I can play g6 so I want to play d6, which is my normal kind of move anyway. And he's going to cast the queen side, okay. So I'm going to start advancing on that area of the board. And we should get a very interesting position here. Oh no, he's gone this way. Bit of a letdown there. I was hoping he would have gone for uh, castling the other way. Um, and I don't know, but he's got e4. And generally when white gets e4 in, it can be a little bit problematic for black so I want to take here and try to play my normal e5 move because then I make his bishop very bad if I can make sure his e4 pawn can't move then his bishop is very bad but if he does play e4 now which is probably what I'd play at some point maybe next move well not now because if he does play e4 now, my bishop is a fantastic piece, so he probably should swap queens off. Meaning I'm going to get my move e5 in um, at the right moment. But I don't need to play it now. Let's just put a little bit of pressure against this one first. And I can now threaten b5 when he can't go knight to e3 because e4 drops. So his knight will have to go to a more passive square. Now... Is that some sacrifice worth considering? Well, he's not uh, not at the moment. No, let's do this. Because if he takes my pawn on b5, I take on e4. Uh, oh, God, I forgot he could take the knight. That was that was sloppy. Okay, that was very sloppy of me. I just forgot I pushed his knight back to what... Oh, he's gone in. In as well. God, I'm missing a bit here. It is Saturday morning. Uh, these, these, things, these things do occur. Uh, um... Right, well, I'm worse, that's for sure. But it's not the end of the world yet. It might be soon, but I'm holding off h6 if he goes knight g5. He's going to win another pawn, but I've got... Well, he can't win another pawn because I've got bishop c5 check. A little trick. Did that really help him putting his knight there? I don't know. I don't think so. But he's still, of course, got the extra pawn. Um, in the meantime, I need to try and get my rook flying into into the game. So rook f2, knight g4. Okay, we're keeping the tricks going here, which is good. And if I take on e4, bishop d3 is, is annoying. I don't really want to run into that one. So, well, I've got some activity now. I get rid of that bishop. I've got my bishop coming to c5. Somehow, 
this position is looking actually uh, like decent compensation for me. His knight, I don't think his knight should have done that weird maneuver to g5 to f7. That was more artificial play. It's one of those plans which may look dangerous, but in actual fact, it's just artificial. Um, and he's kind of helped me by doing that. So he's now trying to exchange off some of the pieces, but I'm hoping his knight is going to be in trouble. Or indeed, I'm, I'm I just winning material. If king takes, I take this one. Thank you, man. And now, how do I try to trap his knight here? Not easy to do, so I'm going to have to let it come out and try to get my rook into d3. This is another plan. So get the rook to d3, where I could take over the open file. He's really, every knight move he's plays it surprises me. I mean, I don't know why, it wasn't his knight better on c4? Why has why he put his knight on this particular square? It seems a bit, seems a bit odd, or peculiar to me. Uh, now, I'm going to try to win the a2 pawn and queen. Nah, but I have to watch out for uh, something to d4 if I go rook d8. So we'll do it this way. And rook d2, of course, is my main move. And one thing you need to do in these endings is keep your pieces as active as possible. I say that, I'm losing a pawn, aren't I? My big pawn, which is annoying. Um, but... Okay, time as well, Simon. Let's give him some checks because I can't, I don't know what I'm doing. So we just check him. Now, it's annoying if I lose that one. That's really annoying. Okay, get the rooks off. That's the best way of doing this. Yeah. I'm going to shut up now and play because I know I can't multitask. You impressed, let Charlie? Charlie, you impressed? Nah, he's not impressed. He's not impressed. He's, he's, he prefers to have a little sleep. Right, let's try to exchange. Uh, oh shit, don't do that, Simon. I'm making this really hard for myself, aren't I? Why am I making it so hard? What am I doing? Go away, you nasty man. Bugger. Well, it's better than losing on time. I'm just so slow, aren't I? It's weird because when I play over the board, I'm so much quicker. It's uh, it's weird. I mean, I, I just, I can't use the mouse. I, I mean, I just played in Bumratty, which I'm sure you're aware of. And um, I got through to the final there of uh, the Blitz tournament against Luke, and I, I beat. I was playing Luke McShane, who's a very, very good player in the final. And he won the first one. I won the second one, and then um, he won the last one to win it. But it was very close, and I beat a lot of GMs getting through there. So over the board, I'm like, pow, 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 pow. but when I'm playing on the computer, I'm just like, oh, go 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 go. It's like Charlie's playing in slow motion. He didn't like that. He's gone back to bed now. Okay, right. Anyway, my opponent now playing one of my specialities, A3 and um, B4, the wing gambit, which is, well, I mean, I've played it like this, but one of the problems with this A3 move, I know, because I played this um, with both colours, is this system of just going G6. It kind of stops all, all of my opponent's tricks. So... Um, now, do I put a bishop on b7 or, or d7? Uh, let's put it on b7. I don't know which is best, to be fair. Now, if you ever, I've just got to watch out for pawn on, but I think I can just take it. Pawn here, knight a5. Um, and pawn on, I've still got pawn takes. So let's just do simple development before I think of what to do next. Um, so who's my opponent? Well, he is a Russian, um, 94, indicating he is probably a youngster. And, sorry, uh, uh, what do I do? Well, it's just castle again. I, I mean, I don't, I mean, swapping off light square bishops definitely helps me. 
but I'm trying to think of the best way to do it. So I want to go knight d4. So let, let's just defend my bishop so I can get my knight to a central square. That makes most sense, doesn't it? Get my knight into the center of the board and get rid of the bishop that's defending my opponent's king, or try to, which my opponent stopped for now. Oh, bloody hell, Simon. What is wrong with your hands? <laughs> okay, now let's chip away at that pawn on e5. That pawn on e5 is very annoying, so I want to eliminate it and try to get my bishop on g7 into the game, which was blocked before by his pawn. So this is my next thing, and again, I just want to make exchange the right pieces. I still try and exchange off light square bishops because that's always going to make his king weaker. I think my opponent should be aiming to play f5 to try to stop, you know, so I can't play f5 at the right moment. Um, this is the kind of move I want to play f5. But if I do it now, knight here doesn't. Oh no, no, no maybe that doesn't scare me. So I've got rook e8. Let's do it anyway. Oh, he's got check on. Oh, that's very cheeky. He's got cheeky check on a2. I missed that one. Oh well, I mean, I'm amazed he swapped off there because I'm getting all the exchanges in the position that I want. And now, well, I'm very happy with the way this is going. Um, it looks like a very pleasant position. I've got all this control of the light squares and I've got rookie two coming and my opponent's position is very dubious I'd say I'm much better here okay so h4 is my play so he's got to stop that which he did and now well, I, I could consider taking this but I've got such great control I, I don't even want to consider it so I'm just gonna hold the light squares for now and try to improve my position let's get a pass pawn on the queen side that would seem to be one way but then I give away the c5 square so okay let's go in Try to just do a bit of nibbling. Uh, rookie two is my idea. I mean, I was, I'm not making as much progress as I wanted, am I? So how am I going to make progress here? Am I going to sacrifice there on h4? Well, that was my idea. Now, rookie three is the move I want to play. Or rookie, I want to get my rook in. My rook has done its job there. I'm not even considering taking this. I want to get my rook either to one of these two squares. Now, the endings are, of course, okay for me. But I want to keep the queens on, I feel. So let's just do a little bit more of uh, this triangulation. Now, I have given away this square, which I did not want to do. I really want to play rook e3. Okay, let's go for it. Let's sack a pawn and go rook e3. Um, and then just try to attack him. This must be good. He doesn't want any of it, my opponent. So now how about this one? And try to get rook to h2 now. But he's defending very well. He's defending well in a position that should be extremely good for me. He's finding very tricky little moves. Now, hopefully my king always has the h6 square. He's still finding tricky little moves. Oh, he's got check. That's annoying. My king is safe. I've got rookie two coming. My, all my pieces coordinating. This should be good. He's still finding tricky little moves. Rookie two is my plan. And rook h2 checkmate. I like simple plans. Let's do it. Look at that for penetration in the nation. Rook h2 checkmate coming up. Boom! So that was nice. That was a nice smooth game. Makes a change. I never play smooth games. Okay. Kill Kenny Gambit. None, no more of this smooth stuff. Let's try to get over 2500 in a bit of style with the Kill Kenny. I've had quite good results with this, this little Kill Kenny Gambit. Um, underestimated Gambit. You get good development, you get the centre, and you get Harry uh, uh, motoring. Do you, you like this one, Charlie? This is this is more better, isn't it? This is more like it. Yes, Charlie's still not impressed. He's still he's still 
he's still saying what, what's, what's that stupid human doing he's being stupid again that's what he's saying he's having a sleep fair enough Charlie fair enough okay right so I get up the G pawn but I've got some development and I want to play E5 you know what when you want to do something just do it is what I say don't even think about it just do it even if it is crap like this may well be now of course I didn't want to swap queens off but I didn't see any choice because I don't want him taking on that square I, mean, I should have really okay he hasn't swapped queens off now I don't okay you can, you can have this pawn do I just keep can I I mean do, can I give I want to give something of course I want to give something so well let's try to open his king while I can he's not scared so I have given him something but I'm hoping this is going to give me some, this is interesting I think this is an interesting position actually I, I realize I'm a rook down but when I take on e7 he's not going to be at a castle um, obviously it, it, I doubt it's enough compensation but it's a it looks a little bit dangerous to me with the knight coming in I've got a, something coming on the e file I've got a bishop hopefully coming to c4 it's very easy for me to play this attack so come on you kill canny come on you cool canny the kill canny gambit very bad out Irish accent there apologize to any Irish people listening that was atrocious okay right so Queen takes Queen f5 he will play and then Queen e3 then he's gonna keep trying to get my Queens off isn't he but my Bishop is a fantastic piece Queen e6 he's going Bishop there okay so let's just flick this one in open up some more lines I mean I'm thinking dart squares mainly I've got my Queen coming in I've got a check on b5 um, now check on b5 Knight here Queen c6 what about Queen here first and then I'm threatening a big oh maybe I should okay that check is massive I'm threatening a massive check here Bishop d7 Queen c8 boom this is looking good see it was, it was a little bit dangerous to kill Kenny move 19 I'm confident with the kill Kenny look at this look at this stupid piece here okay isn't this mate oh, he's gonna go knight this mate surely oh he's got knight d7 ah okay it's never gonna be that easy in the world of the kill Kenny okay well let's get the rook lined up now because then I might have a f okay it's the same better what is this wacky weird position let's get the rook lined up the rook was doing absolutely f all so let's get this one lined up and now I'm threatening bishop takes bishop takes do I have a good bishop move no but I've got Queen coming down here nibble we can do a little nibble 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 and my bishop I don't know it's just a this is a weird position isn't it what a weird 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 position this is can he go pawn on um pawn on threatening my bishop I take here so I don't really I want to keep the pressure oh I don't want to eliminate the pressure so if pawn on I'll probably go queen here something like that keeping some pressure but okay he, that's a good move though he's found the good move now check bishop takes I can't see how I'm gonna win that one so I need to keep the pressure but I don't want his queen coming to this square his rook is coming here as well that's annoying threatening mate bummer that's really annoying um yeah I, I hate it I'm supposed to be one trying to mate you son um that's a very annoying move actually I can't see a way ah come on time ah that, that looks so wrong it looks so wrong playing this one but I don't know it also looks pretty cool as well doesn't it cool, but no this is not working now Oh, sorry, Kill Kenny. I'll let you down here. It was looking so good. Oh, what was that? Bloody mouse slip as well. Rookie five. But okay, my position's probably lost there. 
Um, was the kill Kenny working in that one? Don't know. Don't know. We got to. We got to try. Oh no! You're tempting me again. No, not this time. One kill Kenny is enough. Thank you very much. So I'm going to keep going. I'm still. That was annoying because that was the game to get me over 2,500. So I'll, I'll have another crack at the whip. And he's got me angry now. So I'm just going to go for mate. Bishop h6, mate. That's what I'm going to go for. I like these simple things in life. I'm a simple person enjoying simple pleasures. Checkmate. Like this. Here we come. Swinging it in. Nice and relaxing. Nice and chilled. Push in the center. Push on the side. Push somewhere. He's going to wuss it, isn't he? He's going to castle this way. Ow. I hate it when they wuss it. He's going to wuss it. But I get, I get a nice pin. It's all right. It's not the end of the world. Come on, play it. I dare you. Okay. Oh, well, I can't, I can't even... I'm not even going to consider any other options there, am I? It'd be madness to consider any other options, even though that was a load of absolute tripe. Okay, what's my queen doing over there? She be over there, not over there. Stupid queen, get yourself, get yourself back in the game. Uh, right, well, um, he tempted me. I think he know he knows me too well. This guy, he said, "Well, I know Simon's going to do a rubbish sacrifice. I'll give him a little nibble, see what he does. See if he does his rubbish sacrifice." You want to come here, do you? What if I just take your knight? What are you doing then? That is a check, yeah, well done. Well done, you got a check in. Woohoo! <laughs> what on earth was he doing there? That was really weird. I mean, that, he's just, has he done that just to confuse the hell out of me? I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, well, thank you. He's, he's, that was really weird. I don't know what that was all about. Uh, but he did confuse me. And um, he certainly did confuse me. Why am I also playing some bad moves? It doesn't make much sense. Okay, you can have those pawns. As soon as I get over towards your king, it's game. So let's bring that rook back around again in a second and put the rook there, checkmate. Yes, I like that plan. Maybe I can do a little sneaky, get my knight into this square. This is, this is I don't know, I've got a feeling this is just a rubbish game that we're both playing here. Uh... To be honest, I think we're both playing absolute rubbish. Um, who's who was it who said the person who wins, you know, the person who wins the game of chess is the person who blunders last? No, the person who loses. That makes sense. Is the person who blunders last? That's 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 more logical. So um, that's what I'm going to try to avoid doing. Okay, now we're going to try this again. We'll try this again. It kind of worked well last time for no apparently good reason. But my queen, I don't know why I put my queen over there now. I should have waited until my opponent had castled. Is he going to do something else wacky here? Well, come on, queen. Get back in the game. I could have brought it that way as well, maybe. But... Um, shall we go... Bishop here. I don't like his queen over there. Let's. I don't like his knight coming in. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, let's just do that. I don't know what I'm doing. This is a big square for his knight. Got time edge for a change. Okay, so now my back rank is a little bit weak if I play rook takes here. I'm, I, I, I don't say a word. Yeah, I know. Oh, no! I didn't even see that one. What a Donkey Kong. Oh, that was awful. I just, I just, oh, mate, what a patzer. I mean, I, ridiculous. This is like the worst game ever. The worst game I've maybe ever played online. You're witnessing it here now. This is, this is not, this is not impressive at all. Oh, I'm so sick of myself though that I'm I'm gonna play on. So sick of myself that I'm gonna play on. Come on, 
Come on, A-Porn. Should I be playing on or should I be resigning? You don't win games from resigning, Simon. Okay, I didn't even see that one. I'm missing everything. Uh, but I do have a check. He's going to come here. And he has a check. It's looking bloody scary for me. Even tempted to give this one up. But I think we're going to have to roll the dice. And, oh dear, am I getting mated? The verdict is probably very likely because my king... Ah, that was awful game. Awful. I hate it when I play so badly. I can't, I can't even, can't think of any way to stop the mate now. This is the problem. Oops. Ah, he's got loads of time. Right, we'll keep playing for a little bit. That was bad. That was a bad game. Okay, right. Going to just win everything now. How can it take me two seconds to play one move? God blimey. Okay, another rather dull opening choice. Um, but this position is of course equal. And my idea now is to play quicker. Just gonna try to win a pawn. This one here. If he's gonna put his pawn on a funny square, I'm gonna try and take it. So that's a good move. I can swap everything off and play the ending. Let's do that because my bishop on g7 is gonna be very good. My dark square bishop is gonna be better than his bishop in the ending position that we get. Now, if I take those straight away. He's got rook b1 and taken here. So slightly better for me, I would say, at the moment. Good rooks, good bishop, but very symmetrical, making a draw high probability. And my plan is to try and advance over on this area of the board, forcing him to make some weaknesses that I can exploit. I made that sound so technically good, didn't I? I impressed myself there. Um, so he has to go B3. I don't know why he's thinking here. Uh, and now this is where my rook wants to go, but my bishop was attacked, so defend the bishop and get ready to wander with the king. But f4, check, king f7, I stop his rook coming in. Let's do that. Oh, oh, God. He's still, oh, how am I missing these moves? What was that all about? That was absolutely terrible. I just missed that check. Unbelievable. Oh, no, come on. You can't be serious. You want to draw? What's wrong with you, man? Okay, we're not going to give him a draw. We're going to come here. I mean, that was crazy. Absolutely crazy. Okay, so is he trying to make me? He's trying, but I don't think he's going to succeed. I'm going to punish him for even considering getting a draw, probably by getting checkmated. That's He's got h4, g5, but he's not mating me because my king, my king can run. My king can run. I don't think he's mating me. I'm not worried at all. Not one little bit. Not even a tiny, tiny, small bit. Not even a smidgen. I'm not even smidgenly worried. Not even a tiny, tiny bit. Okay, right, so what is this position like? I have no idea. I was hoping that my king would be so active here. Okay, let's put over there. So I don't want his two pawns coming down the board, which they're going to do anyway, aren't they? Fuck a duck. Okay, listen, why did I do that? I don't know. Weird position. That's all I can say about this. 
Now, I can get a draw. But we don't want a draw, do we? Probably get a draw. Let's push. I don't know. I'm a little bit concerned. I am. I'm a little bit concerned. For both of us. Not just me, for my opponent as well. Oh, right. Got to show some technique. Okay, now that was what I was concerned about. Now, rook takes rook, g7, rook here, h6 with h7 coming. Looks like I'm in trouble. So I might have to bail out here, which means there's only a draw with rook check or some rook, rook g5. That was a good move. Let's go rook g5. Oh, he's got his rook behind. Bummer. Did not see that one. Okay. Now, pawn on is, of course, what I'm worried about here. This is a technical win, I'm afraid. I've studied this one with a pawn on f7. It's a draw with a pawn here. It's actually a win. So I'm a little bit annoyed again. But I'm going to try to get this blockade. All I have to do is move my king. He shouldn't have allowed my rook to get where the rook got to. He should have stopped that. But he can zigzag me. But not like that. And, well, okay, I mean, I shouldn't really be playing on here. But yeah, the way he won that, he could have zigzag me. Um, but he didn't. Well, I've offered him a draw, and uh, let's stalemate him, shall we? Force a draw. Uh, yeah, so I think that ending was actually losing. I was just thinking, but uh, neither of us played very well again. Okay, let's have a good game. King's Gambit it up. Let's get some King's Gambit action. Still want to get to 2500. As soon as I okay, it's either until I lose or get to 2500. I'm getting to 2500. I'm getting to 2500. Yes, we are. Okay. Yeah, that last game should have been good for me as well. I mean, what 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 does that move? It's just giving me a nice tempo. That's where I want to put my pawn anyway. Very peculiar. Very peculiar. Bishop c5. Now the little secret with the king's gambit, which uh, Grandmaster Joe Gallagher once told me is that yes it is a gambit but if you ever win this pawn back here as I've done now you're always going to be better because you have lovely pawns in the center of the board and pieces that are doing a great job and one of the main targets you'll get when you win this pawn back is the f7 pawn and of course that is what I'm aiming for now with the big guns coming in well, maybe I can also just take here, can't I, straight away? Let's not even mess about. Let's do it. Let's put it in his pipe. He's made me angry again. Okay, well, he has to. He can't take my bishop because bishop g5, bishop... Oh, well. <laughs> I love it. He can't take my bishop, and he takes my bishop. That should be losing. So bishop g5, knight f6. But this is a simple way of doing it. And... I'm an exchange up as well. Exchange up, exchange and a pawn up with the attack. So uh, I'm feeling quite good in this one. Let's put it that way. I want to go rook f3. Let's just not do anything, not do anything drastic. I could have gone rook f4, but my rook feels like it wants to come to g3. So. Yeah, okay. I think that's fair enough. Let's take this guy down. Where is he? Serbia. And oh, he played some weird line against this last time, didn't he? But I got a good position, so we'll do it again. And now he's playing. Can I go bishop here? I'm a little bit concerned about some bishop f7, but my knight does defend that one. Oh, oh really heck. Oh, that's what I'm concerned about. Bummer, I knew there was a reason that I can't do that. <laughs> okay. 
yeah takes and then bishop takes f7 i knew that was a problem with my that was a little nasty little opening trick he set there <clears throat> but who's tricked who my bishop is very strong and i'm liking this pawn yeah he can win the pawn with a check and take him but then i take on f3 and his king is going to be exposed so he probably should do this <clears throat> got a bit of the bun ratty flu at the moment mm -hmm. so I've got well I've got my Queen coming in and then Queen E2 uh, okay I don't know I can't work it out let's do it Queen E2 or this of course um, and my bishops on pre which is annoying because otherwise I wanted to castle queenside and I thought that would give me good play. But now it makes more sense to keep the queens on. So let's go here. He's only one pawn up and I've got good development. His bishop is screaming for air. And this has to be good play. <laughs> Wouldn't it be lovely if he castled? Wouldn't that be lovely? Yes, it would. Okay, so he's trying to trick me by keeping on this but again who's tricking who in these lines because he's now given up the e5 square if I can cast and get a knight there fantastic um, so let's just keep playing moves which create a threat that is a good idea okay moves that create a threat bishop here queen g4 then and I have a check or do I? Let's just castle. See where he's going to put his king. Because if he goes king side, I've got a ready made attack. Oh shit, you can move the d pawn. That's annoying. Attacking my queen. That was a bit silly of me. Again. But not the end of the world. Go on, play pawn takes pawn. Let me, let me spank you there. Just do it. Just do it. So actually, I, I just encouraged him to move his pawn forwards there. That's all I did. Okay, right. Now, come on. This must be party time soon. Clear the G-file. Stage one. Stage two. Put a rook on the G-file. Stage three. Attack on the diagonal. Stage three. Oh, I know what's coming next. Can you feel it? Stage three, kill, kill, kill. <laughs> oh yeah, I like that one. I don't know if it works, but it's got to be played. It's got to be played. It has to be played. And is it any good? It's got rook g1, which gets rid of my good rook. But this is a weird position. Weird, weird, weird. If I check him, he's always got queen g3. But I mean, I've got, I got good pieces. I have good pieces. Good pieces. <clears throat> but cold. I, should have, I could have also gone queen takes there, winning immediately. <laughs> oh, my word. Why didn't I do that? That would have that would have threatened checkmate there and checkmate there. You know why? Because I want to torture him a little bit. You know, I'm just going for a little squeeze, little squeeze, and I'm enjoying myself too much. This is why I didn't checkmate him in two two moves. Now, is it time to put it in his pipe? Yes, is the answer. He has one check. That is all. Come on, just need one or two more wins. Two more wins. Okay, let's stick with well, a King's Gambit work to treat. I'm not gonna play the, the Sicilian again though, because he has those little weird lines which I'm getting good positions in, but I don't wanna I don't wanna have them. Okay, he's going for the same setup. Is he gonna make the same mistakes? Well, here he's threatening to go d5, so I, I'm gonna make sure, and he's gone d5 anyway, rather blindly. There was a reason I put my queen there, son. Yeah, did you did you not see why I put my queen there to 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 like you know give a little bit of protection? And now he's thinking. 
And now he's thinking, protection is always good. I hear. Protection is the way to go. Okay, well, he's thinking again. Uh, so two more games to get 2,500. Well, I hope he goes G6. That would be lovely. G6, boom. Why am I always considering my opponent's worst moves today? It's quite funny. I don't know why, but it's... Uh, okay, right. Now... Yes, you are threatening that one, but it's my move. Now, I can check you and take on F4, and again, that would give me this very nice pawn. So let's do that. And I'm threatening your bishop, so why the bloody hell not? Queen to D6, probably best move. Okay. Develop. And now, can I go queen? No, I can't do that. I'd love to go queen here. Um, but it's not working. So how about queen there? It's a weird square, I know. But if he's going to put his bishop on g7 anyway, then I think my queen is perfectly safe there. And let's make it as hard as I can for him to castle. Now, he is going to go knight d4. So let's control that square. Castle's knight d4. Little bit annoying for me. I am a pawn up. It's weird, in all these King's Gambit games, I'm actually going a pawn up, aren't I? Which is most peculiar. You, you play the King's Gambit to give up a pawn, not to go a pawn up. Right, now we should have some fun. Now d4 is coming. And my pieces are getting into the game. Can he take on d4? I doubt it, because I've got this knight here. Now, he probably should be playing like something like bishop g4. I'm trying to get rid of this knight. And if I get a plan, I'm going to take that bishop and get my other piece in. Very happy then. All my pieces are uh, rocking and rolling. Can I? I want to sack the queen. Why do I want to sack the queen when I've got good position anyway? Knight takes here. Knight takes here. Why, why do I want to do these things? Because I can. Oh, dear, Simon. You're... Bloody lunatic sometimes. Why did I do that? I don't know. Sometimes you just get the urge. You just get the urge. And that this is one of the occasions. Is it absolute rubbish? Or just rubbish? It'd be lovely if I had a, a light square bishop. But you know what? I've just given up a lot of my pieces. Okay, come on. There must be some way to prove this brilliancy that I'm trying to do. Or not. As the case may well be. Oh, God, I don't know what I'm doing here. What is this move? I mean, that is not a way to... I mean, I want to go C4. I want to play C4. Uh, right, now, I'm hoping this d6 square is going to be available to me i don't know i don't know it's interesting isn't it it's interesting it was an interesting sack because i do have some compensation here surely now i'm gonna to have to go back we don't always like doing these things in life but i still think i've got a little smidgen of compensation how good are my knights a little smidgen, only a smidgen, but it's still a smidgen. Look at those sexy knights. Oh, you sexy knights. Come on, go, 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 go. He can't go at the moment because he's threatening that one. Uh, right, time. What am I doing? What the bloody hell am I doing here? Is he threatening anything? Probably threatening to take here or something. Oh, there's my, my rub. Oh, no, my time as well. Simon. <coughs> God, why am I so slow? This is an interesting position. It's a pity because my. Oh, he's got F2. I didn't even see he played that move. Cheeky, so. Ah. Oh. 
It was a pity I got... Oh, God, you're taking everything. Ah. Why do I give up the Queen? Well, I don't know. I mean, it was fun. I just wanted to, just wanted to try it out because it looked, looked like an interesting possibility. That's what Blitz is for sometimes. But if I was playing more serious, I probably would be over 2,500 now. Next time. Okay, well, thanks, you all, for watching. Uh, like I say, I'm going to be over in um, Iceland tomorrow. Uh, so you can tune into my commentary there with Fiona um, on chess.com TV. I don't know what time it starts, but I'm sure you can use that thing called Google. From me, goodbye. And Charlie, are you going to say goodbye? Or are you, are you still, you're still napping nicely there. He's still napping. He's still napping. So no goodbyes from Charlie at the moment. But he, he, wish, he sends his love. Okay, until next time. Bye.